welcome back to the channel. Today, we took delivery of a very nice piece of equipment. And that is the Kubota. Brand new for, I think, this is the newest model, the 75-3 SVL. And I must say, I haven't ran it much yet, only like maybe 10 minutes. It's definitely gonna take a little bit to get used to compared to like the excavator. But it's definitely seems like it's gonna be a very, very good piece that's gonna come in handy in multiple, many different ways. One thing I know for certain up here, like on the fields and everything, we're gonna have to fix like the driveway coming up and part of the stuff with motocross track, whatever. We're using it for a ton of different things. We got some mowers, everything else. But basically what I wanted to do is kind of showcase this and kind of just show you guys this, show you what kind of what it's about and then show you some operation. And you know, very clean. Obviously it's a tracked model. That's one thing that we definitely wanted to do. We wanted to go with a tracked model. And this is a rental bucket. So they didn't get us the right bucket yet. So they sent us a rental just for the time being, but they're gonna swap that out. So that's why that kind of looks the way it does. But regardless, we're gonna hop in this machine and we're gonna try and do some stuff. Now, a lot of the other videos that you've seen, I've ran the Coyote tractor, which is basically just a tractor loader. And that is completely different than running like a skid steer or a track loader or anything like that, because you can't really see the bucket. So for instance, if we hop up in here and sit down, right here is basically where I'm sitting. And this is like kind of where your head is. You can see the teeth of that bucket. You can see the whole front edge of that bucket. So you can see exactly what you're doing. Whereas in the tractor, there's a rod that comes up and we have it painted and that's how you have to see. So it's kind of one of them things that, you know, obviously seeing things is much better so we're gonna waste no time we're gonna jump in this thing and we're gonna kind of see where it goes see how it works and it does have quick detach quick attach couplers there it's all hydraulic so you don't ever have to get out to hook any of your attachments or implements now if there's hydraulics then you got to get out and hook the hoses but as far as like hooking a bucket or forks power forks like that you don't have to get out it's all quick detach so yeah another little walk around with it and we'll take it for some little testing here so as i said this is the 75-3 so it's an updated cab kind of updated screen here so you're going to push it once it's going to kind of go through its motions and pop up it will ask you for a code that you input on your own and once you input your code, it's gonna pop up to this screen and it's basically a push button start. You just hold the button and it'll start for you. And then you'll fold down each lever here on this side. This control here to your left, it's obviously got a lot of electronic controls and everything on here. Majority of these we're not gonna use, but basically this is your steering. You're driving forward, driving back. And so basically this side is gonna be controlling like another normal tractor, you also have to hit the unlock button first, but normal tractor, you're gonna operate with a joystick over here to your right, and then obviously drive forward, go back, and then your camera's gonna come up, and then obviously left to go left, right to go right. Now this does come a little bit into play when you're backing up, so obviously going forward to turn left is push left, but then when you're going back, it's kind of the same. So you want to turn left to go left. It's it's a little confusing. But anyway, that's basically the simple controls. You do have a high speed on the back side of the joystick. And also you have your float on this side of the joystick. So again, this is all new to me. I've never ran one of these, but we're going to run one today.
So just running at that little bit that I did, this is part of the old track or the track that we had that we're kind of rearranging. But the fact of the matter is you can see the bucket, as I said, and this is basically what I did. Drove right in, you know, this is basically nice and level. This could actually go down a little bit further yet. I could cut that a little more, but you know, just the job that it does. I mean, this digs in real quick. It's a lot quicker than the tractor. So the tractor loader combo is fine. And this is a little different too, because I'm so used to running the excavator. And then the other thing is when you do the tractor with the loader, you're driving forward with your feet and using the lever. So it's a little different doing it with your hand. But there again, I just moved all that dirt in like, you know, a minute, two minutes. So it is definitely quick, the wide bucket, it's now this is 78 bucket we're getting a 74 but still i mean this thing is just quick So I wasn't sure how I would feel about the tooth bucket at first versus a flat edge bucket. But quite honestly, tooth bucket does just as nice. And those lines, I don't know, it just looks nice. So yeah, that's pretty much moved that dirt already. So I think at this point, I'm gonna go down and try and fix the driveway coming up or part of the track, I guess a little bit more. So you know, you're not trying to roll equipment coming up here. Okay, so this is where we're at. I was just coming down from this side up here where we just kind of were. And I came down here and there was obviously some washing going on here. And I just came in, lowered the bucket, leveled it. You know, I could see everything, came right down in here. You know, super nice, just leveled this out like instantly. And you know, that's all that's in the bucket. So huh, this is just like, the more I run it, I know the better it's gonna get. But the fact that you can see everything is just a huge, huge deal to me. But considering I just did that in one pass, the tractor loader, and I know every piece of equipment has their place, its purpose, everything like that. But the tractor loader, you know, it would have taken me, you know, two, three passes with that. And that's saying that I have the bucket perfectly level. Everything's perfect to the fact where I'm not digging in, I'm not too high, too far back, you know, a lot of variances. Yeah, I'm gonna like this. Yeah, not much effort is required to really do what you need it to do in all seriousness. 
I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. And obviously I'm gonna have to have a lot more time in running this thing, you know, to get comfortable. But even right now, just running it the little bit that I have, it's, it's doing pretty well. We had two piles of dirt back in here. I pushed this entire thing up in one pass. The capacity of that thing and the push power of that thing is kind of impressive. So it basically started from all the way back here, started plowing in and you know, it's really nice flat the whole way up through. You can see the bucket, you can see what you're doing. One pass. Whereas a tractor would have taken me a lot more than that. And the tractor doesn't have the capacity in the loader. So I have another mound of dirt kind of buried in here, as you can kind of see. So you gotta get this one out yet. And basically the ultimate goal here for this is, we're gonna move this stuff towards the outskirts, but our fields are kind of on both sides. And I wanna, you know, basically include this. This will give us the whole way up through here, this center line will give us a little bit more planting ground, and that's the ultimate goal. So I'm obviously starting to lose daylight. Now we have lights, we can work on this, you know, well into the dark. So basically I started getting this dug out and then same thing up here, we started to dig out. And it's just, it's really doing well. I know I've said it so many times during this video, but it's just doing very well. It's gonna open up a lot more planting ground for us you know down the road so i did smash a pumpkin so that's kind of unfortunate so i have been coming down here and kind of started playing around a little bit with this so it's definitely amazing what it's doing obviously the weeds mess it up a little but yeah so that's that's the scoop Basically the, the newest piece of equipment 
really that we have now at this point so tons of work that this thing's going to be able to do for us and it's just i don't know i don't know what to say it's been a long time coming we've wanted one of these things for years now so me and dad are definitely going to be able to kind of expand our horizon with everything that we we're able to do you know it, possibilities now with are endless basically with the excavator and the track loader now you know we have all the equipment possibilities you know they're endless so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the kubota svl 75-3 so far definitely liking this thing a lot be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this track loader and as always, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.